I've owned and tested a lot of different drills over the years. It's part of what I do on the channel. I've also tested lots of different batteries, different handles, different accessories, but there is one upgrade that stands head and shoulders above the rest because it can make your drill more accurate, more reliable, and actually easier to use. That makes it so you don't have to focus so much on the drill, but you can focus more on the job at hand. Now the crazy thing is, most of us have never even considered this as an upgrade for our drills. For any job that you're working on with a drill, obviously you wanna make sure that you have enough battery power and the right kind of battery for the job. You wanna make sure that you have the right bit in your chuck, but what's made a huge difference for me is actually having the right chuck in your drill. This actually does three important things for you with your drill on any job. Number one, this will save you the frustration of having bits that actually come loose, get wobbly, or fall out while you're on the job. A good chuck should hold on to that bit like an iron fist the entire time you're using it, not only when you're chucking it, but when you're in heavy use as well. Number two, it will provide more consistent and more concentric holes. Holes that are perfectly centered and perfectly round every time, as well as giving you the ability to drive nuts, bolts, screws, fasteners, whatever you need, without any wandering and without any wobble. Number three, it should be able to do all of this while making your drill more compact. That means that you're gonna fit into those tighter spaces, have less of those awkward moments where the drill just doesn't quite fit because a shorter chuck can help you get into those tight spaces even easier. Some of you may have seen my video about the supposed secret locking feature that drills were supposed to have, and even the drill manufacturers claimed was real. Yes, you can. You can turn forward and click it back once and then lock it back down. Millions of people saw that video, but far fewer saw the follow-up video I made where I got in touch not with the drill manufacturers this time, but with the people who would really know how these chucks work, the company that makes them. Here in my hands, I've got a couple of chucks by a company called Rome. Now, Rome has been making chucks for over 100 years, actually. And if you look at the different drills that you'll find around the world, especially the better performing ones and the name brand ones, a lot of times they have Rome chucks on them. Now, I recently did a whole bunch of testing on some drills, basically the best ones that you can buy here in the United States, and there were all kinds of chucks on them. But interestingly, most of the ones that actually performed best, like the best version of each brand, often had a Rome chuck on it. By way of example, both the Top End Home Depot and the Top End Lowe's DeWalt drills come with Rome chucks. The most powerful Bosch drill that you can buy comes with a Rome chuck. As well as if you've seen Festool drills, you know that they're typically geared towards woodworkers where they need that total accuracy. Those also have a Rome chuck. Unfortunately, some of the best drills out there, like this flex drill that I tested and does an awesome job, it's like a total powerhouse, it's great in almost every single way, but the chuck that comes on here is a lower quality chuck. It's just not as performant as a Rome chuck, for example. So this is something that's easy to fix. Unlike the competition, Rome's chucks are designed, manufactured, and tested in Germany. You're getting precision German engineering, and if you've talked to anybody who's looked at replacing their chuck, they'll tell you that Rome is the Mercedes-Benz of chucks. I mentioned earlier that a lot of people, it just doesn't cross their mind to upgrade the chuck on their drill. Well, I'm guilty of that as well. Up until a couple of years ago, this is something that never even actually crossed my mind. I figured when you are opening that brand new box and taking your drill out, that is the best your drill is ever gonna be. Maybe you can put some new batteries and things like that, but I never thought that you could make it actually perform better and more. The process of upgrading your drill chuck isn't as hard as you might think. It typically takes maybe about 10 minutes and you probably have all of the tools that you need to perform this process already. One cool thing about this process is it's kind of like breathing new life into your drill because you probably have a drill that's pretty decent already and maybe you have a couple of issues like maybe concentricity like getting that perfect circle is a little bit of an issue or grip maybe it's not holding on to those bits quite the way it should then upgrading your chuck is not only going to take care of those things it'll basically make it so that your drill is if you can imagine this it's really better than the day you took it out of the box it's kind of like buying a new car and putting some upgrades on it right away so it's better than new it's pretty awesome now obviously this process is perfect if you want to fix a broken chuck one that's just given up the ghost it's broken somehow or died then of course you can do the same process but it's also an upgrade so works for both of those situations when it comes to replacing your chuck there are a few things that you need to keep in mind the first is that there are a few common spindle sizes for different makes and models of drills. Fortunately, most full-size drills are gonna use either a half inch 20 TPI spindle or maybe a 9 16 18 TPI spindle. But just in case, Rome has put together a handy tool to help you find out which chuck will fit your specific drill. Now, if for some reason they don't have your drill listed, they show you exactly how to find your spindle size to ensure that you do get a great fit for your drill. 
The second consideration is that different brands and even different models within the brand tend to use different types of fasteners to attach the chuck to the transmission. Most of the drills that I see here, these are all fairly new, and these are almost all using a Torx, either a T30 or a T40 fastener, but I've also seen ones with flatheads or slotted screwdrivers, as well as Phillips of different sizes and hex keys as well. The upgrade process for most drills is really pretty simple. Here's how it works. Start by opening the jaws of the chuck all the way and taking a quick look at the fastener to find out what type of bit you're gonna need to remove it. The fastening screw on this drill, for example, requires a Torx T40. Now the screw is typically a reverse threaded screw, so you're actually gonna need to turn it clockwise to loosen it, totally the opposite of what you're used to. This is a case of lefty tighty, righty loosey. Use a screwdriver or another drill to remove the screw by turning it clockwise, and keep in mind that there is usually a bit of Loctite on there to hold it in place, so it's gonna be a little bit stubborn. Once that screws out, we're ready to take the chuck off. And there are a handful of ways to do this, but we're gonna focus on what I think is the simplest way. All you're gonna need is one large hex key. You might have one kicking around the house, borrow one if you need to, but we're gonna actually tighten the chuck on the short side of the hex key, basically providing a nice long handle on the other side. Next, you can gently secure your drill in a padded vise or something similar to keep it in place while you spin the handle counterclockwise. Now, just remember, this is gonna be on there pretty tight, so it may help to use a mallet to break that initial grip, and once you do, it'll start spinning pretty freely. There is a second method that you can use, but I only recommend doing this method if you have plenty of clamps and you have the right kind of location, like I have on the front of my miter saw table here. For the second method, we're gonna let the power of the drill do the work for us. Start by laying your drill down on its side, put your drill in its lowest gear, typically first gear, and then also make sure that it's in the forward direction. Once you've got that larger hex key tightened onto the short side of the key. Next, clamp your drill down everywhere you can. Clamp down the handle, clamp down the battery, clamp down the head, everything that you can to make sure it's totally secure and in place. And then put something hard or protective underneath wherever it is that the hex key is going to make contact with the surface. Make sure you're standing clear of, well, everything here, and then gently squeeze on that trigger, letting that first gear power kick in and it should loosen the chuck for you. If you have anti-kickback, it might resist a little bit, so you might have to do this a couple of times, but it'll break free, and then once you hold that trigger down, it'll spin the chuck right off. Now, to put your new roam chuck on, we're gonna do the same things, but just in reverse, literally. Thread that new chuck into place by rotating it clockwise, and once it's hand tight, use the hex key method to cinch it down all the way. Once again, you can use the force of the drill to do this job for you, just by putting it in reverse and squeezing that trigger. Apply some thread lock to the fastener and then replace it by rotating it counterclockwise until it's snug. With your new Rome chuck in place, you've got a beautiful new chuck on there that's most likely gonna outlast the drill itself. This upgrade is one of those ones that's gonna make you say to yourself, why didn't I do this many years ago? You're gonna immediately notice a few things. You're gonna notice that it's gonna hold on to those bits a lot easier and when you click that in place, you'll feel that positive traction knowing that that thing is holding on good and tight, not only then, but even when you're doing really difficult work hammer drilling, hardwood drilling, you name it, it's gonna handle it. Drilling holes is gonna be smoother and more precise than ever, and your drill is gonna feel compact in your hand so that you can work not only in the open, but in those tight spaces with ease. You can head over to Rome's website, which I'll put links to in the description below, and there they actually came up with this pretty cool tool where you enter in the make and model of your drill, and it'll tell you exactly which fit or which type of chuck will fit perfectly on that drill. Now I wanna thank Rome for not only sponsoring today's video, but also for making it easy for us to make these upgrades. As you saw, it's pretty simple, doesn't take very long, and it really does breathe new life into your drill. Now speaking of drills, 82% of the people I polled didn't actually know how to use all five features that come standard on most drills. So are you part of the 82% or the 18%? Well, one way to find out. Check out my video right over here and learn more about those five main features. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.